Yo, what's up? I want to give my quick thoughts um, and opinion. Um, on SummerSlam, um, Raw last night, and, um, well, mostly Raw. Mostly Raw last night in the indie segment um, in terms of what they're going to do going, moving forward. I just want to get out real quick, my quick thoughts. Um, Raw, I thought, was a pretty solid show. Um, we've never had a post, post-SummerSlam post Raw like we had last night. Um, this may be a trend if WWE are going to plan on making SummerSlam, you know, WrestleMania Part 2. Um, we may get more Raws like this more often in the near future. Hopefully, that would be cool. Uh, but the cool highlights from Raw for me um, was uh, the Dudley Boys are back. Um, they're back in WWE. I think that's awesome. Um, one of my buddies kind of a little bit turned off by it. To me, I see it as them doing a, um, uh, the same thing they did with the New Age Outlaws, basically, really. They're going to be there for a cup of coffee, probably end up winning the tag team titles, help get the younger teams over, that kind of deal. Um, the new Bray Wyatt member, fam family member, um, Braun Strongsman, Strongsman or something like that, um, I thought it was a pretty impressive debut. Um, he fits the Wyatt family uh, gimmick. Um, and something about him is really old school. I mean, he, he did a sleeper. He did the sleeper on, uh, he put both Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose in a sleeper hold. Um, I have not seen a sleeper hold move on a wrestler. A wrestler used it as one of his finishers in a long, long time. I mean, maybe what, Chris Masters with the Masters lock was probably the last thing I've seen close to that. Um, if you want to go further back to that, I mean, Jesus Christ, you're looking at Riley Riley Piper. So I thought I thought the, the new reveal of the new of the new team member, um, the new Wyatt family member, I think was I thought was impressive debut. Now, last but not least, I gotta get my final thoughts on the ending segment of Raw, because I popped like a bitch. Um Sting, when they did the whole ceremony thing for Seth Rollins, um, his his statue. And when they unveiled it and showed that it was staying, my God, I popped like a child. I'm like, don't tell me they're going to do what I think they're going to do. Don't tell me they're going to do what I think they're going to do. And when staying through Rollins out the ring and he picked up that WWE championship, I marked out even harder and louder. I'm like, yes, I, I say go for it. Um, some people may be turned off by this because it'll be like, another part-timer i'm kind of okay with this um just because and by the way the match is confirmed they confirmed it um this morning or last night it will be seth rollins versus staying for the wwe title at night of champions um honestly i think this is probably the best thing that they could have done right now storyline wise um i mean rollins has already whether he's cheated and has not really done anything by himself point is Rollins has already gone through Randy Orton multiple times he's gone through uh, both Ambrose and Roman Reigns at the same time he's gone through uh, John Cena last night and Brock Lesnar he got screwed out of a title shot he went up against Lesnar so it's like who else do you really have left um, Sting is probably the next best choice um, looking at you know all the people that are on main event guys Sting is probably the next best choice. Um, I do know Sting does have a two-year contract deal um, with WWE. I mean, get it out there. Use him for something. Um, I think storyline-wise, I think it, it, it makes I think it makes sense a little bit. Because um, at, the, at the end of the day, when, when Sting first came into WWE, his whole thing was to stop the authority, get rid of them, throw them out of power. But for some strange reason... When we got to WrestleMania with his match with Triple H, it turned into a WWE versus WCW thing. And I never understood that. And then you had Triple H shaking Sting's hand at the end of the at the end of the match. It was like, this dude caught you your job. You beat him, even though I didn't think Sting should have lost. But it was just it, it was just a lot of mixed feelings going into um going into that going into that um that match, it was a lot of mixed things. Um, and I think by them having Sting kind of come back and say, you may have taken me down, but I'm not out. 
and this time I'm not gunning for Triple H, but I'm gonna gun. I'm gunning for your chosen one, um, Seth Rollins, your poster child. And I'm gonna take what's most precious to him, the WWE title. I think that makes great storytelling. Um, it adds some fuel back into Sting's fire. Um, it gives Sting something to do, and I think it's the next best thing for Sting. Um, you know, since everyone thought he was going to do, even myself included, he was going to do a one and done at WrestleMania. And a lot of people disagreed with the after con the, the aftermath or the, the end of result of his match with Triple H. I think it's the next best thing. I'm pumped. I popped for it like a bitch. This is what I'm saying for the, this is what WWE needs to do. They need to keep things interesting, you know, post WrestleMania, post SummerSlam, uh, Post Royal Rumble, well, Royal Rumble doesn't really count too much because Royal Rumble leads right into WrestleMania. But the point I'm making is, is that you know one of the biggest problems that I've always had with WWE over the last couple of years was that they'll they'll put everything in their basket for WrestleMania, Royal Rumble, SummerSlam, but once those pay per views end, they just kind of they lose it, and that's what they've been kind of doing um, since Mania leading into SummerSlam this year. They just kind of they slot they go down a slippery slope. Um, but by them having this big match with staying at the next pay-per-view being Night of Champions, the first pay-per-view post, uh, SummerSlam, this is what they need to do to keep fans interested year round and not just for those two or three big pay-per-views of the year. I'm stoked for it. Um, I actually be cool if staying be WWE champion. Um, I mean, I'm a big staying fan, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, of course, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna be against it. I'm gonna be for it. Um, you guys let me know what you about the ending saving last night. Do you think Sting, does it make sense to rely on Lions? Do you think Sting should be WWE champion? Um, yes, it'll be another part-timer, but what do you guys see? If Sting does win the title, I don't see him being champion or holding it as long as Brock Lesnar did when he was champion. He'll probably drop drop it at the next pay-per-view or drop it two months later. I could see that happening. But you guys let me know what you think in the comment box below. Comment, subscribe, peace.